These two prophetic encouragements are from Nate Johnston and were published this March 2024. The Warfare Storm is Being Disarmed, published on March 20, 2024. I woke up yesterday hearing the Lord say, I am disarming the storm. And having disarmed the powers and authorities, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross Colossians 2 verse 15 Then I heard the Lord say, Tell them that it is now time to enter into the era called triumph, for I have marked this next season not with relentless losses but with victory. For in the last season the enemy warred at the church to see if she would fight or run, rise or hide, so he could stop them using the keys I have given them. But right now I am shaking the church out of the tomb of powerlessness and defeat and giving her back her keys. For I have seen my people defeated and feeling like they could never overpower or shift the warfare storm at fear doorstep. I have seen them so lost in the daily swirl of chatter, witchcraft, and battling low-level demons that they haven't been able to see beyond it. Have you forgotten that you are the head and not the tail? Above only and not beneath? Have you become so accustomed to the view from under the table that you have forgotten that you were given a seat at it? When did the taunts of Goliath make you lose your victory? For I have seen your hope dashed in the battle as you have felt like your prayers have fallen and were unheard. You have felt so beat up that you began to doubt my power and my ability to shift the tide against you. But in this hour I am disarming every assignment against that your mind, your family, finances, and destiny in setting the record straight. But even better, I am going to do it through you. So get ready as I begin to shake the chains loose and restore your fight. The Keys Unleashed And I am going to teach you how to use the keys I have given you and I am going to give you different eyes and a higher perspective to see beyond the storm. And I am going to show you how to effectively disarm the attacks that have come at you daily. And I am going to give you discernment to see the dynamics, mechanics, reason, and sources of these assignments so you counteract them. I am giving you the keys to live victorious in a world of many storms and you will learn to soar above them all. Taking back ground. It's time to get back your fight because in your battle weariness you have tolerated the swirl and the attack. You have tolerated the witchcraft and left your warrior stance in the spirit. Get it back. You have begun to hide under your blankets instead of opposing the assignments against you. So wake up mighty warriors because what you have endured is not the way it will always be. I know you have become accustomed to a heavy atmosphere and skies of drama, but I have called you to clear the air. It's time to release the sound of victory and take back ground. The Trump Card of the Blood I know the war against you has been next level and has been close to taking you out completely. I know it has been tempting to give up and hang up your mantle, but now I am going to reveal my hand of victory in your life. I am going to expose and make a public spectacle of every assignment sent to rob and strip you, uncover you, shame you, and leave you bloodied and beat by the side of the road. In this season called Triumph I am going to reveal my church as victors and you as my prized champion. But you have said, how could I possibly come back from this level of loss and defeat? And I would say to you it's time to see the power of the blood at work in your life. Even right now, it's bringing things into order and delivering you from every plan, attack, tie, demon, and principality sent to kill you before your time. The blood is the trump card that causes every other power to bow. So watch now as I begin to turn the tide and clear the storm over your life. Here are some verses for this word. Mark 4 verses 35 to 41 from the Amplified Bible. Jesus stills the sea. On that same day, when evening had come, he said to them, Let us go over to the other side of the Sea of Galilee. 
So leaving the crowd, they took him with them, just as he was, in the boat. And other boats were with him. And a fierce windstorm began to blow, and waves were breaking over the boat, so that it was already being swamped. But Jesus was in the stern, asleep with his head on the sailor's leather cushion. And they woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are about to die? And he got up and sternly rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Hush, be still muzzled. And the wind died down as if it had grown weary, and there was at once a great calm a perfect peacefulness. Jesus said to them, Why are you afraid? Do you still have no faith and confidence in me? They were filled with great fear, and said to each other, Who then is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? 1 Corinthians 9 verses 24-27 from the Amplified Bible Do you not know that in a race all the runners run their very best to win, but only one receives the prize? Run your race in such a way that you may seize the prize and make it yours. Now every athlete who goes into training and competes in the games is disciplined and exercises self-control in all things. They do it to win a crown that withers, but we do it to receive an imperishable crown that cannot wither. Therefore I do not run without a definite goal. I do not flail around like one beating the air just shadow boxing. But like a boxer I strictly discipline my body and make it my slave, so that, after I have preached the gospel to others, I myself will not somehow be disqualified as unfit for service. Ephesians 1 verses 7-10 from the Amplified Bible In Him we have redemption that is, our deliverance and salvation through His blood, which paid the penalty for our sin and resulted in the forgiveness and complete pardon of our sin, in accordance with the riches of His grace which He lavished on us. In all wisdom and understanding with practical insight He made known to us the mystery of His will according to His good pleasure which he purposed in Christ, with regard to the fulfillment of the times that is, the end of history, the climax of the ages, to bring all things together in Christ, both things in the heavens and things on the earth. Hebrews 9 verses 12-14 from the Amplified Bible He went once for all into the holy place the holy of holies of heaven, into the presence of God and not through the blood of goats and calves, but through his own blood, having obtained and secured eternal redemption that is, the salvation of all who personally believe in him as Savior. For if the sprinkling of ceremonially defiled persons with the blood of goats and bulls and the ashes of a burnt heifer is sufficient for the cleansing of the body, how much more will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal Holy Spirit willingly offered himself unblemished that is, without moral or spiritual imperfection as a sacrifice to God, cleanse your conscience from dead works and lifeless observances to serve the ever-living God? Here's a pray-along video for these words. Heavenly Father, You are my almighty, all-powerful, all-loving Father. Thank You for sending Jesus to save me. And, by the power of His blood, I can sit with Him with your right hand in heavenly places. I plead the blood of Jesus over my mind, will, and emotions, and I have the peace of Christ. I plead the blood of Jesus over my body, and all systems are working as designed. I plead the blood of Jesus over my life and my destiny, and I'm realigned to your will for me, Father. Thank you, Father, that it is finished with the blood of Jesus. I have victory. And, I enter this new era of triumph in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Fearless Prophetic Voices Are Rising Up, published on March 18, 2024. I had a dream last night where I saw a ready and sharp group of prophetic voices leaving an underground bunker. They had their game face on and fire in their eyes. As they emerged, they began prophesying things that were beginning to trigger culture, PC, 
and every narrative in demonic ideology that had been accepted by the world and even the passive church. People started rallying to take them down like they did in 2020, but this time, their taunts weren't sending these prophets running, apologizing, or joining the club just to appease this spirit. Then I heard silence, reminding me of a powerful scene from the Dune 2 movie. The authority that had increased in the dark was evident. Now, it was time to say what few had said and usher in the new hour of the voice of the church. They were as bold as lions, sold out to God, not to man, not to keep their reputations or ministries going. Something had shifted. This is the prophetic 2.0. The old order of the prophetic that tolerates Jezebel and abides by the rules of the religious spirit will have little influence in the days to come. At first, they will try to gaslight them and label them as nationalists and radicals and many other names, but as they do, it will only expose their own compromise and that they have bowed down to Baal to not rock the boat. Yes, the bunker is emptying. A fiery breed is rising up to call to order the state of the church, raise up an end times army, evict principalities, stoke the fires of revival, and turn America and the nations back to God. Here are some verses for this word. Colossians 2 verse 15 from the Amplified Bible when he had disarmed the rulers and authorities those supernatural forces of evil operating against us, he made a public example of them exhibiting them as captives in his triumphal procession, having triumphed over them through the cross. Ephesians 1 verses 19-23 from the Amplified Bible and so that you will begin to know what the immeasurable and unlimited and surpassing greatness of his active, spiritual power is in us who believe. These are in accordance with the working of his mighty strength which he produced in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his own right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion whether angelic or human, and far above every name that is named above every title that can be conferred not only in this age and world but also in the one to come. And he put all things in every realm and subjection under Christ's feet, and appointed him as supreme and authoritative head over all things in the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills and completes all things in all believers. Revelation 11 verses 5-6 from the Amplified Bible and if anyone wants to harm them, fire comes out of their mouth and devours their enemies. So if anyone wants to harm them, he must be killed in this way. These two witnesses have the power from God to shut up the sky, so that no rain will fall during the days of their prophesying regarding judgment and salvation. And they have power over the water seas, rivers to turn them into blood, and to strike the earth with every kind of plague as often as they wish. Here's a pray-along video for these words. Heavenly Father, you are my almighty, all-powerful, all-loving Father. Thank you, Father, for fighting my battles for me. Your mighty right arm protects me, and you have disarmed the rulers and authorities of those supernatural forces of evil operating against me. Thank you that I am seated with Christ far above all rule and authority and power and dominion whether angelic or human, and far above every name that is named above every title that can be conferred, not only in this age and world but also in the one to come. And, you have put all things in every realm and subjection under Christ's feet. Father, guide me on how to use my voice to release your fire-powered words. And, your words coming out of my mouth will do what you want to accomplish, and they will not return void. I arise as a voice for you, Father, that the knowledge of your glory may fill the earth, in Jesus' name. Amen. The Gathering with Lou Engel and Nate and Christy Johnston
Come join us on Good Friday, March 29th, for the gathering of God's fiery remnant. It will be a night of the presence, prophecy, prayer, and communion. See you there. Click the links available above and in the description box below to register. To support and read more prophetic words from today's featured prophet, Nate Johnston, please visit natanchristie.co.